Um, Armand Bema, whom many of you know, uh, reviewed Stephen Prothero, the, the Boston University professor who wrote um, The American Jesus. Some of you may know that work. Uh, about five years ago, he wrote Religious Literacy, What Does Every American Need to Know and Doesn't? And in his review, Armand said that, um, that people, people across the street from us or down the road from us believe that Sodom and Gomorrah were married, that Joan of Arc was Noah's wife, and that the epistles are the wives of the apostles. Now, knowing Armand, he could have made that up. Um, but he makes the point well, and I suspect he didn't make it up. It is, in fact, um, the case that we live in a land in which biblical illiteracy is serious and is growing. Um, I don't encounter that um, on the seminary campus, of course, um, when people don't know a biblical figure, they know, do know enough not to, um, to innocently blurt out that they don't know it. But uh, when I was on the college campus, people enrolled in our, in our um, church work programs, had what we thought as faculty um, rather striking uh, holes in their, in their biblical knowledge. So we are faced with a, a, a task of translating anew biblical concepts that are foreign to US Americans, and we are faced with the task of, of teaching them the biblical story, because the Bible is a story. That's part of our presupposition for, for these days together, that uh, God is a God who is a storyteller. God is a God who, uh, who is on the move through human history. And God has a history just like you and I have histories. As a matter of fact, our histories coincide. And it is a tragedy when people outside the faith don't recognize that their story coincides with God's story. Thank you.